Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others. Pray and say, Lord, I make a demand. I ask for the rain. Distracted tonight, don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I am absolutely convinced. Hear me. That every one of us here represents a sphere of influence. Every one of us here represents a jurisdiction of dominion. And so this is a summit. It's, it's a convergence of kings. It's a convergence of ambassadors. So as you travel, you travel for your sphere of influence. As you pray, you pray for they that are tied to your grace. Don't see yourself as a single entity. For when they looked at the womb of Rebecca, they saw that there were two nations. Not just twins, two nations. We each represent territories, dimensions of spiritual operation that the nations will benefit from. And so when you cry, you cry on behalf of a territory. When you travel, you travel on behalf of a family, on behalf of a community. Lord, we love you. We love you. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. Honestly, let me tell you something. We're not ready for what God has in store for us this year. We think we are, but I don't think we're ready. Because God is going to move this year in most dramatic proportions. You will see ordinary men turn into things that will make you wonder. And this is not some spiritual things. Physically, you will see men that will walk like gods in this city, across this nation. All God is asking is, do you believe do you believe? He said, blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. For unto her there shall be a performance of those things that have been spoken. Unto her.
Lord, we believe. Let the rain fall without restriction. We empty ourselves and we empty our vessels. Hallelujah. We ask you to help us tonight. Spirit of the living God, we submit to you. Unveil the mysteries of the kingdom. Teach us truths that are older than us. Teach us what made the ancient powerful. Open us up to ancient vistas in the spirit. Show us realities that predate our dispensation. Grant us access to abilities and dimensions in the spirit. Show us the ancient path. Oh, that we will step into the Sabbath. Grant us grace. For there is a longing in our spirit. There is a longing upon our generation. To experience a fresh dimension of the reality of the spirit. And we trust you to bring us into this reality. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. You're welcome. Just sit quietly. Pick up your writing materials. There is a lot to do tonight. Please no, let no seats be vacant. There are so many people. If we can get some of the people to occupy the seats. Some of them are the extreme overflows. If they can come and at least stand inside. There are people under the anointing ushers. I know that you... It's a season of the rain. We will step into realities this year. We will step into strange dimensions of grace. And the Lord will grant it so in the name of Jesus Christ. You will step into levels of realities that will change your physical form. Your physical form that will alter you. When Moses stood in the glory, he did not know that he was being changed. After 40 days, he stepped out and his skin, his flesh, his physical flesh. It's, it's not just about using cream and all of that. There is a level of glory. I'm telling you, I want you to believe this. God is not playing games with us. If we mean business with him, he says, who has believed our report? Who has believed? You will see mountains melt as if they never existed. That's what happens when the glory of the Lord comes. You will see God turn around situations. He said, turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. I want every meeting that we come for all through this year. You must be very intentional about it. You must be very definite about it. Hallelujah. You can greet and play around after the service. But the moment you step into this building, before the meeting starts, I want you to know that you are standing upon Mount Zion. And anything, just anything can happen. Hallelujah. That's what God wants to do. Let it cover all the earth. Oh, that's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. That's our prayer. Let it cover all the earth. Let the rain of His Spirit cover us. Let it cover all I wrote this song years ago from my spirit. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall.
Lord, cover us with your glory. Even tonight. And bless our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The reality of spiritual laws. The reality of spiritual laws. The reality of spiritual laws. What we'll be learning tonight will be so powerful. So powerful. My goal for us this year is that we will become so powerful. Men and women of extreme spiritual power. And it will happen as we are shown the keys of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom. Listen, let me tell you something. For years, for years, there has been a cry in my spirit. Somehow, there is a testimony in my spirit that our generation has lost touch with ancient realities. You hear me use that word again and again. People move forward, but something in my spirit keeps drawing me back. And it says, if you can go back enough, you will find something we lost. Hallelujah. I've been intrigued every time I read things in scripture and it talks about ancient things. There is something that the ancient knew. It's not supposed to be so difficult. We have lost touch with the dimension of reality. Carnality. Flesh. Intercourse with Babylon. Cut short a flow of spiritual reality. And the Lord told me something last year. He said, mantles do not leave the earth to heaven. That means every dimension of grace that has ever been displaced in the earth, they are archived in certain dimensions here in the earth realm. And if we can trust the ministry of the Holy Spirit, he will navigate us to those parts. And we will collide with these ancient mantles. And we will do strange things upon the surface of this earth. You believe that? And this is our journey. Show us great things, oh God. The reality of spiritual laws. Aside from revealing the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to the body of Christ, one of the cardinal areas of my call is to teach the body of Christ the principles of the kingdom to unveil to the body of Christ that dominion is a resultant effect of the knowledge and the comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom a mystery is a hidden truth that requires the agency of the spirit or another spirit that is not of this realm to open an individual to the reality it's called a mystery mysteries the occultic realm operate on the strength of mysteries coded operations that are shrouded in mysteries science cannot explain it it takes your fraternity with another spirit to open you up to those dimensions and so he said it has been given unto you to know the word know there is the word a man and a man knowing his wife it has been given to you to come into a union with the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. If we ever will attain to that stature of spiritual authority where we can legislate on behalf of the kingdom, then I want you to know that it will never just be by impartation. It will never just be by stories. It will stand upon the strength of something that we know what did job know that turned his financial predicament in a moment the bible did not tell us what business he did the bible just said job prayed for his friends mysteriously people started coming from everywhere brothers and sisters are there portals we have lost in the spirit have we not lost touch with certain dimensions of spiritual reality hallelujah The prophet said, bring me a mistrial. Who taught him? 
who lectured him how did he know he said i will reveal my dark sayings upon the heart my heart is indicting a good matter he said yeah i speak of excellent things my tongue is the pen of a ready writer who taught this man who taught the psalmist that praise was a garment that a man can wear he called it a garment not an attitude of praise a garment of praise every time they praise god in the place of war i notice they use a coded language all they said was for he is good and his mercy endures it was not any kind of praise there was a type it was like a spiritual code every time they began to say for he is good and his mercy endures he rose as a man of war meaning not every word invokes every dimension there is a kind of language that makes god to operate in a certain way are you learning something help us oh god look let me tell you brothers and sisters part of my resolutions this year is that i will open us up to deep things some of us will be afraid of some of the things we'll be learning i've been praying and saying lord prepare your people because it will rattle the, the foundation of what you know to be Christianity. And you will know that many preachers have lied to us. Hallelujah. So let's prepare our hearts. Because this thing is not the exclusive reserve of one man. It has nothing to do with the boasting of a preacher. Let me tell you something. The hallmark of an apostolic ministry, I will keep saying it till we understand, is not just miracles and signs and wonders and manifestations of the Holy Ghost. There is a dimension of that, right? But the hallmark of the true apostolic ministry is the ability to receive the revelation that is meant for a dispensation, to understand it and communicate it accurately to the people of god because the apostolic ministry is dispensational are you following me now and the knowledge of god is also dispensational meaning there is a curriculum there is a scope of understanding that god expects a dispensation to know are you following me now so that what we call eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations every dispensation coming with a revelation of god and adding that revelation to another dispensation are you following me now and that means that our dispensation has certain dimensions of god that we must know and we must touch but it takes the apostolic and the prophetic ministry not just to do signs and wonders and to lay hands and heal the sick that is important but to be able to sustain a posture in the spirit such that we can receive these spiritual realities understand them and interpret them to god's people and then they will be able to walk in this path and you will see certain possibilities in our lives hallelujah and this is what we aim to do in this place the lord will help us in the name of jesus the reality of spiritual laws science has taught us that there are laws that govern this earth realm they teach us in physics and, and chemistry and other aspects of science that there are laws and scientists have been able to come into the recognition of certain physical laws and they have been able to account for the explanation of certain tragedies that have happened to men hallelujah over time scientists began to inquire as to why men will encounter certain inexplainable tragedies and they later discovered that there were laws that were being violated unconsciously that you do not recognize that there is a law does not mean it's not there are you following me now praise the lord if a child does not know there is gravity and he jumps on a, a an altitude like this the child will fall gravity will not say i excuse you is that true there are many other laws now i want you to know that the same way spiritual laws govern this physical physical law sorry govern this realm there are spiritual laws that govern the operation of the spirit 
Hallelujah. You are able to walk very well when you can master the laws. Physically. None of us will find ourselves walking against gravity, for instance. And if by any means you are to walk against gravity, you know what to do to be able to remedy the, the imbalance that you are creating. And so you do not find yourself fighting the laws of nature. Gravity, for instance. Friction, for instance. All of these are laws. I want you to know that there are spiritual laws. Say spiritual laws. Many people have been able to find these laws and walk with these principles. And they have been able to do mind-bogging things in the earth realm. And as we explore this reality, my goal tonight is not so much to share what the laws are as it is to bring us into a recognition that as scattered as spiritual things look, as scattered as the earth is, there is a rhythm. Are you getting my point? There is an exact synergy. There is a sequence. There is an equation of the happening of things. They are not as haphazard as we think. There is a level of order and accuracy. God designed the earth. It is our inaccurate understanding or total ignorance to his principles that has resulted to certain levels of setbacks and limitations in our lives. And in this year of the rain, God wants to open us up to a recognition of certain principles. And you will find out that what has grounded you for years, you will walk cheaply. You will now find out that the, the enemy that many of us has been, have been talking about, they are not necessarily the demons out there. Our ignorance, our lack of understanding the laws of God. Say amen. The key to kingdom dominion, please write this down. The key to dominion, the key to influence, the key to power, the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom. I'll repeat it again. Please make sure you are writing something. Or at least jotting something on your notepad or so on the phone or so. The key to kingdom dominion, the key to influence, influence is the capacity to alter people's mindsets, the key to power, the key to wealth is hidden in our discovery of the ancient spiritual laws of the kingdom there are ancient laws encapsulated in this bible there are laws that are older than us there are laws that predate our dispensation they have been responsible for the rise and the fall of kings they have been responsible for the rise and fall of champions and when we find peace with these laws we will do big things for the kingdom we have come with open hearts. Oh, let the ancient words sing. Ancient words ever true. Changing me and changing you. We have with open hearts, oh, let the ancient personalize it. Say, I have come with an open heart. I have come with open hearts, oh, let. Daniel chapter 19. Let's begin our journey so that we can pray. We have come We have come. Oh, 
Daniel chapter 2 from verse 19 to 22. Mandi Blakoshi Prahata Kosi Balanaba. The story of a cruel king who slept and had a dream, forgot the dream and forgot the interpretation, and was mounting pressure upon all his wise men and cabinets. And Daniel said, Give us time. And the Bible says he asked for wisdom. And in the night, can we read together verse 19? One to read. Then was the secret revealed unto daniel in a night vision then daniel blessed the god of heaven verse 20 blessed be the name of the lord forever and ever for wisdom and might are his 21 he, he changed the times and seasons he removed kings and set up kings he giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding he revealed the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him he said then was the secret revealed <laughs> brothers and sisters secrets can be revealed not everything is known by every christian are you hearing me the Bible says the secret things of the Lord are not just with Christians. They are with them that fear him. And he will reveal his covenants. He will show them his covenants. There are mysteries in our world. There are secrets that have been archived in the bowels of the spirit. And it takes men who can press to say, Lord, open my eyes. Show me the secrets. That's why all things are not possible for everybody. Is that true? Kentucky Fried Chicken, one of the great eateries around. Um, they have a secret recipe that till today has not been revealed. Is that true? That secret recipe is what makes them unique. Coca-Cola till today they have not revealed the exact formula and combination. Great men dwell upon the strength of secrets. In ancient time, it was a taboo to reveal the deepest of secrets. They were known only by the king and his envoys, those we call knights or apostles. They were the highest representatives of the king. They knew where treasures were hidden in castles. They knew secret places of escape in chambers. When, when they came to defeat a nation, they knew how to, to invoke the powers of those territories to fight on their behalf. It was an access that was given to them. And so as his ambassadors, God wants to show us. He doesn't want to hide anything from us. He said, come, let us reason together. I want to show you how I operate the heavens so that you can draw from this and do wonders in the earth. If you believe that, say amen. So spiritual laws are real. The spirit realm is a real realm of existence. Just like the physical realm. It is only a lot more superior to this realm. This realm is bounded by many things. There are limitations. For instance, this realm is purely three-dimensional. But in the realm of the spirit, there are many dimensions. A lot of people have preached that there are four dimensions, five. I don't believe that. I believe that there are infinite dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Because the possibilities in the spirit are defined by what dimension you can function. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And so I want us to know that the spirit realm is real. The spirit realm is real. And there is a constant interaction between the spirit realm and this realm. Every single one of us under the sound of my voice and those following us online, every single one under the sound of my voice interacts with the spirit realm every time. 
whether you recognize it or not, the condition to, to interact with the spirit realm is just to be alive. Remember, I began the teaching last week showing us the five elements, right? The elements of creation. We drink water. Is that true? We breathe air. Why don't we breathe dust? We breathe air to live. Air that seems to be immaterial, but we breathe it in our material body to keep us alive. So, our biological composition is, is, a, is a, a, an intertwining of both this realm and the realm of the spirit. Prosperity is an intertwining of the spirit realm and this realm. Success in life is an intertwining of the realm of the spirit and this realm. The anointing, the ability and the agency of the spirit. When a man stands and you look at somebody with cancer and stretch your physical hand, you may not even make contact with the person and the person starts shaking or the person falls. It tells you that there is something more than what your eyes see. There is an interaction. Is that true? Watch this. I'm speaking to you. There is no, di there is no digital connection between my mouth and your heart. But what I am saying is passing through your ears and it has the ability to influence your paradigm because they are spirit and life hallelujah so we must we must rise to this reality that all we see in our world brothers and sisters is not all there is praise the lord all we see is not all there is there is more say there is more in this building right now inside and outside there are more angels than this crowd gathered here and many of them are doing many things as i teach right now some are imparting graces and all of these things right working in partnership with the spirit and they are not only angels there are also the spirits of just men made perfect testifying like the witnesses that stood with Jesus at the Mount of Transfiguration. Elijah and Moses. Representing the law and the prophet. They are not the only witnesses. There are many others. Enoch, for instance. Right? Many other people. So the Bible says, Ye are come unto Mount Zion. And he begins to tell us all the things that happen in that place. Listen, the earlier you realize that life is entirely spiritual, that the physical manifestation is only a little portion. Hallelujah. Occultists understand this. Politicians understand this. Is that true? I was, I was studying the world religion. I'll give you a few statistics as we progress. Very shocking. I didn't know there was that much religion in the whole world. I thought there were just maybe 100 or 1,000. I will tell you the figure shortly. <laughs> and all these religions have followers. Ardent, committed, die-hard followers. Meaning the spirit of man is searching for something. Searching for a connection with its source. Somehow, mankind knows... That until you interact with this, the spirit realm, there is no stability to your person. There is a longing. So we pray to a deity we call different names for many religions. And we hope that somebody out there of a higher consciousness is listening to us. There are spiritual laws. The same way I can violate gravity. And violate other laws and reap the consequences of my disobedience or ignorance that is the same way I can stumble into a spiritual law I do not know and activate its operation unconsciously and suddenly begin to see certain things manifest physically are you hearing what I'm saying and then on the other hand I can deactivate the operation of a spiritual law without knowing and begin to receive a ripple effect in the physical. Are you following me now? So it seems to me like the journey of many Christians is, is, is a blind dashing into spiritual laws. 
we are not exactly sure sometimes we touch something that activates prosperity and ha has that happened to you for weeks you find out that favor is coming everything is happening and then it's like something happens and it's short there are times that you find out that everything you say in prayer comes to pass and then other times you pray and it's as if you are talking to yourself hallelujah there are times you suddenly step into a dimension and seasons and you are having dreams every night and everything you see is coming to pass and then certain times what is responsible for this opening and closing of the gates of the spirit this is what i want to teach you the reality of spiritual things. even for preachers there are times you stand to preach and you sense an unusual open heavens you are just ministering and my goodness scriptures that you you read years ago that you cannot even quote normally suddenly come to your mind and you are quoting them verbatim and other times it looks like you stand and you are wondering i hope i'm not messing up listen if you get what i'm teaching you you will keep certain portals of the spirit open perpetually hallelujah certain people have touched this realm in different forms hallelujah now watch this the fundamental principle i want us to understand as we explore this very sensitive teaching because what i'm going to be saying will rattle many of us hallelujah some of the things that i'm going to be saying will challenge us but i want you to follow me the fundamental principle i want you to have at the back of your mind is that everything created belongs to god you will see the advantage of this statement as we progress everything created belongs to god secondly all power belongs to god hallelujah all power psalm 62 verse 11 please quickly psalm 62 verse 11 it says once have i spoken and twice have you heard that all power everybody shout all power all power you went to school what is your understanding of all power meaning if there is any performance that ever occurs any manifestation of the supernatural in the earth to any degree was either a release or a corruption of power that came from god please follow me god has spoken once twice i have heard this that power belongs to god look up please when a magician takes a white handkerchief please follow me tonight and waves it and brings out a dove out of it what happened what happened hallelujah when a magician slices himself into half and holds the remaining half of him and is walking and bastardizes your knowledge of physics and biology what exactly is happening listen to me he said once have i spoken twice in other words i emphasize it as a witness that all power belongs to god that means the central force in the realm of the spirit is not astrology it's not the constellation the seat of power in the spirit is God himself. Just follow me. Every religion is the hybrid of a man's pursuit to uncover and look for this mystery entity that we call God. And over time, what has happened is, listen, fallen angels, you know, I spoke to you about the pre-Adamite dispensation. We spoke a bit about that, right? realities that predate genesis 1 you find that in job 38 right the creation we spoke a bit now last year this year the creation of angels and all of these things right now watch this let me show you a few mysteries in the bible have you read in your bible that stars fought for a woman called deborah question was she an unbeliever 
Have you had that thing that stars fought for Deborah? Have you had people mention statements like, you were born with 10 stars? Eh? Whether you believe it or not, just follow me. I'm not teaching you Scientology. I'm provoking you to be mature. Just listen to me. Are you following me now? Many of us come from different cultural backgrounds where at one point or the other they have brought somebody to your house. Hello? Baba? Mama? Whatever. They shall brought somebody to your house. And he was able to do certain things. Whether he used cola or not, whether he used whatever, and he began to unveil certain things. Either reveal the person that stole. Is that true? Stole money or meat or lied. Is that true? And then he began to reveal some things. How many of you have seen people who are not born again? They have never given their life to Christ. Yet they have functioned in what you know to be word of knowledge. Is that true? In certain tribes, they call them those whose head has opened. Is that true? People who can see beyond certain things. Listen. God has spoken once. Let it be known to you that when it comes to the realm of the spirit, there are not many forces. There is one force. Everything revolves around him. His name is God Almighty. Whether we accept to call him God Almighty or not. Are you getting my point now? Hmm. So how come Satan can manipulate power how come traditional rulers can manipulate power please follow me how come a man can look at this lady and say look um, you will not give birth case closed he didn't ask her whether she had faith or not he just spoke on the strength of something he has been taught is that true how come people read magical books huh all kinds of books they tell them recite this and the moment they recite things start happening brothers and sisters am i telling a lie or pastors have been afraid of confronting this issue because if we don't many of us will not know when we have entered witchcraft if all power belongs to god then whose power are witches using follow me if all power belongs to God, then the religions that can turn... There, there, there's the video of a young guy that walked upon water. Physically, he walked upon it. Huh? He walked upon a building sideways and came down. No pastor has done that, at least. I only know one bold pastor who decided his, he was Prophet Daniel, the one that lions tore him into pieces in the Badan. That's the closest thing that I know. But the Bible says, once have I spoken, twice, that all. So, is it that God gave it to these demons? No, think about it. Go to Zaria city and meet somebody and say, I want a husband. What's that thing that they carry? Love portion, wealth portion, all kinds of, of things. They give you and one young man is just moving and they blow something towards him. He becomes absolutely confused, right? And starts pursuing a lady helplessly until she does whatever she wants to do with him. Now think about that. If the Bible is telling the truth that all power belongs to God, I have a question. By the way, it will interest you to know that there are 4,200 religions as of today in the world. How many? 4,200 registered all the 4,200 religions. Where did they get their power from? Satan does not create anything. Is that clear? Do we all agree? Question. Was God sleeping? Did they steal some of the power without his seeing? What is the mystery behind the seeming strengthening of wicked forces? Some of you have dreams. And you see all kinds of spirits appear to you. You are trying to call Jesus. They shut your mouth. With all your knowing of Jesus. Jesus and they stand and they laugh. Question. Who empowered them? If Satan was created. Are you prepared for this year of the rain? 
we are going to talk we are, we are going as deep as God will help us go because we must answer some questions let me tell you when you answer these questions you will, you, you will start laughing at what used to make you cry because when you see it you know that uh -uh, this is the one plus one this is what made it happen and I told you that every time you catch a light what happens in the spirit grace is given to you to walk in that reality so you can see five people struggling over a demon go out go out and you will only pass no prayer light the spirits know what they are seeing you see that because the strength of evil is darkness the bible calls them rulers of darkness not rulers of light whenever there is darkness they are authorized to rule all religions of the world claim to connect people to wealth to joy to happiness to life to peace and to god or some kind of higher cosmic power for assistance that's the whole bit behind every world religion is that not true if somebody comes to take you now and says mary ann i want you to be part of the confucius religion you think you will just come won't i promise you something i'll promise you wealth and happiness i'll promise you that whatever you want speak certain things and it will happen right if Marianne speaks it and it happens she will invite Shei and say Shei it's easier than that other thing you are doing Shei will first say I don't believe it when life presses her to the wall she will adopt it the strength of this religion is that the suffering of mankind is endless and so eventually people will search for solution anyhow are you getting me by the way many of these religions have their branches in africa you would think that our suffering or our our backwardness in technology will make us say what is all this find out how many africans do they are not christians they are not muslims they are not hindus right they are something else and they have followers There is an acclaimed personality in this nation. I, I told you that I've repented from mentioning names. Acclaimed personality who I think for 48 years or thereabout. I don't know if it was him or, or his brother or somebody who never came out. Never came out for about 48 years. Look, even if you are sitting down for 48 years, how out somehow? The devil must come upon you. He must land upon your life and interact with you. Sacrifices that men have made. Now the question is, brothers and sisters, if God is good and God is great and he does not eschew evil, what would be the explanation to the seeming empowerment preachers have thought that the power you have the power satan has is your power or he collected it how did he collect it collect it back the question how did he collect it you know we generalize things that we owe people demon is working with something that is solid and provable hallelujah you prayed about something the answer did not come your brother said come let's go and visit somebody they visited the person in two days the answer came is that true it's true you gave thanksgiving in church but we really know where that answer came from is that true a woman cries to god comes to we preachers and we prophesy in the name of jesus i command that cancer to go nothing went is that true they just respect us and they won't publish anything on the newspaper and they quietly go and meet another person and they invoke things and they have the baby and women of god come and claim the glory it's better let's sit down and ask ourselves the truth and answer these questions or keep telling lies there are many people telling lies in church many of the miracles people claim to get in church i am telling you they got it outside the church they consulted a lot of powers there are families today who will never give their children in marriage until they go and ask certain people and they confirm is that true whether whether you are a pastor whatever you believe keep your westernization they will go and consult 
even if it means them buying goat, ram, sheep, human being, they will consult. Is that true? What then is this mystery? There are five religions, major religions, out of the 4,200. The first is Hinduism. The second is Buddhism. The third is Islam. The fourth is Christianity. And the fifth is New Age. There's no time and it's not within the scope of the teaching to tell you what this individual sect, if I would call them, believe. There are others who believe, like the Hindus, for instance. Hindus believe there is one great God, but he expresses himself in many ways. Meaning there are many ways to approach him. Right? So they can have many kinds of deities or envoys that help you communicate to this God. And they believe in several doctrines of reincarnation. Buddhism. Many people think Buddhism worship Buddha. No. They just feel that Buddha is the person who has been able to attain that highest level of consciousness as they call it. And so they model after his life. Same with all the other religions. New age is the recent teachings that was perpetrated by the kingdom of darkness. Under new age, you are God. It's a, it's a little stealing away from the Bible. All these religions, there's no time. I would have proven to you that they all have their origin from the Bible. That's why they can prove to any Christians. That's why Christians are the most vulnerable. Is that true? They take Bible and show you what supports their belief. And you say, wow, this thing is in the Bible. Meaning God must support it. There comes that theory that all roads still lead to the same God. Have you heard those, those devilish teachings? And so people tell you, don't worry. When you go to the Habalists, you say, look, don't be scared with all this color not I'm doing. It's still the same thing. It's just different ways of invoking the same God. And then he invokes the color not and he says, Psalms 1 verse 3. I say, ah, Psalms, Abba. I know Psalms, go ahead. Right? To now justify that because Psalms 1 was mentioned, God is in it. Is that true? What deceit. What deceit. All power belongs to God. Now watch this. I want you to know this. The fallen angels. Hallelujah. Those we call the fallen angels. I've taught us but I'll repeat it again just for the sake of establishing a few things. The fallen angels. When they came to the earth. Please listen to me. They interacted with men. And part of that interaction was responsible for supplying certain deep informations don't forget that they were all in heaven right certain laws are god's own laws and they are made to happen how many of you go to the farm and pray and fast for crops to grow please tell the truth after you sow you go back and say oh god no once you sow it to the earth you go back a man can kill another man and steal his land and sow and still reap a bumper harvest because of the existence of physical laws so it is god has put spiritual laws are you getting my point now for spiritual laws to work please come i'm establishing something come sir for spiritual laws to work in the spirit a spirit must assist you in activating its operation are you getting the rules for any spiritual law at all to work there must be a spirit entity that will assist you. It is in partnership with a spirit before any spiritual law can be activated. So if I am a magician and I'm doing a lot of abracadabra, for instance, there must have been a spirit that was invoked, appeased, or a demand is placed upon him. Is that true? Now, let's explain our traditional festivals. What happened? What is the whole goal of many traditional festivals? They first appease certain spirits, either with people who must die or sacrifices. And when those spirits are appeased, the mediums that interface between the realm of the spirit and the physical realm, let the people know that, ah, this goat, the spirit has, has eaten it. Although you are seeing a physical goat, the priest ends up eating the flesh 
physically uh, uh, the honorarium the, the, everything goes to the priest but i'm saying that the whole goal is that the sacrifice has been received is that true that's what happens no man by his strength can activate spiritual laws are you getting my point there must be the assistance of a spirit watch this i want to shock you now the holy spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws just follow me the holy spirit is not the only spirit that can activate spiritual laws the spirits of dead men can activate spiritual laws ancestral spirits can activate spiritual laws demons and spiritual wickedness that operate in the heavenlies on the strength of the fact that they are spiritual entities they can guide men to activate spiritual laws watch this so there is a universal law in the spirit for anything to be of god and to carry to carry god's signature there is only one spirit that validates are you getting my point the holy spirit is the only spirit authorized the most holy spirit of god the only one authorized to activate any spiritual law such that god becomes involved and the glory goes to god are you getting my point that means watch this it is possible that i can use magic power and look at sam and do a miracle a real miracle it happens but it did not happen by the spirit of god but because it is a manipulation of a spiritual law it will happen accurately are you getting what i'm saying that means i can give a woman a child but not by the spirit of god is that true i can use the advantage of my partnership with another spirit and remove cancer from her stomach and put back another spirit that means i can receive word of knowledge from a spirit accurate word of knowledge but not from god are you are you getting what i'm saying when you understand this listen to me you will hold the holy spirit as a matter of life and death are you getting my point now the problem with many men of god is when they started their journey they started with the holy spirit but they allowed their passion to make them leave the Holy Spirit. So when the Holy Ghost said, wait, I'm schooling you in this area. They said, I'm in a hurry. I must enter prophecy. I must enter this Holy Ghost. You can go. And another Holy Spirit, another spirit, really not holy. Another spirit continued the journey. Are you getting the point? And because they seem to have been progressing in spiritual things, that spirit of deception made them feel that is the continuation of the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So although in them, they feel something is wrong. There is, there is a mixing. Many men of God in this country around that we call fake are not fake. Even those who do magic. Most of what has happened is a perversion. Are you getting me? They went under certain people, certain hands were laid in them, and certain demonic forces were invoked to begin to work with them. And it activated certain possibilities, and they started gaining knowledge on certain laws. Is God helping us? Or are you afraid of the teaching? You will be changed, His glory will be revealed. When the Spirit takes over your soul, you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. I know you will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. For you are being changed. His glory has been revealed 
when the spirit takes over your soul. Listen, when you hear us talk a lot about the Holy Spirit and emphasize Him, it is because there are other spirits already. And if you do not embrace the Spirit of God, you will meet with another one eventually. The day you need a job, you will meet with one. Hear me, look up. You will never go to a herbalist and return the same way you came. Did you hear what I said? You will never, impossible, every man communicates to you out of the strength of the Spirit that assists him. If you come to me for help, and I'm a magician, and you are watching me do the magic, you finish and say, nice man. You think you just left, but you did not leave alone. Automatically. That's why you will return again. Someone makes you return. The people inside and outside, both those who wanted to come or did not come, the spirit of the living God drew you. Is that true? When you understand this, brothers and sisters, you will not be impressed just by everything that happens physically. You will seek to know what is the motivation and the spirit behind the operation. Many of us are, are very, once you see supernatural things, you are happy. It doesn't matter whether it came from the pit of hell or wherever. You are just happy. Right? And right now we live in a generation where many people want to enter prophecy. Young people want to enter prophecy and, and, and they want to enter world of knowledge. They want to enter dimensions. Now, nothing is wrong with that. It's because of the revival that is coming. But Satan is already preparing a major deception because he has seen it. That's one of the reasons why I'm teaching this. There is a major arsenal of deception that the devil wants to release to the Nigerian church where there will be an outburst of a seeming outpouring but it's not the outpouring of the Holy Ghost and you will see men move in charismatic dimensions you will see people do things like angels right almost no limits to their impossibilities and even they themselves will not know that they are being deceived are you seeing why the book of revelations and the rest prays that even the elect can be deceived I have prayed for many people in meetings anointed people ministers of the gospel and as i minister to them i may never get to tell them but they may think what they are receiving in that meeting was impartation what they were receiving was first deliverance from a strange spirit acts chapter 16 don't turn there remember a lady who had the spirit of divination is that true did she give people word of knowledge please answer me and the Bible says when some businessmen found her, they said you are exactly what you are looking for. And they started using her. You pay money to prophesy. You think if the people were not getting results, they will come back? They were getting results. She will say this will happen and it will happen. And when Paul, I like Paul. So, two spirits. Paul had a word of knowledge. Her too, she had her own word of knowledge. Two spirits right and paul looks at her and she begins to say these are great men of god you know what she was looking for she was looking for partnership because human beings cannot discern the difference so that she knew that paul was only visiting the city so let's be friends so that when you leave the city they will say ah, ah if paul is not here i am here pastors hear me you must be careful in this day and age the kinds of meeting and ministerial associations you join yourself with there are many of us, they invite you everywhere to preach with everybody and your answer is yes sir. You think you are saving sinners. You will enter the midst of devils without knowing. And they will corrupt the authenticity of the grace of God upon your life. Are you getting what I'm saying? It will be a three day meeting. You will be the one to start first. You will start and there will be mighty signs and wonders. When you finish, devils will come and hug you and you will snap together. And then the next day, people will come and they will say, just like the servant of God ministered yesterday, we are continuing. And people will catch strange spirit. There are meetings people have gone to. The moment they left the meeting, lust came upon their lives. And they started looking for ladies uncontrollably. They fell under the anointing. They rolled around and prayed in tongues. And the brother got up with miracle power and love for girls. 
confusion. How can I be moving so much in the anointing? Right? Or somebody gets up and just begins to steal. The reality of spiritual laws. We constantly interact with these laws. Watch this. Spiritual laws are very powerful because they are not only creative, they can change realities in this physical realm. Are you following my teaching now? That is the reason why a magician can hold a handkerchief and say, Sam, hold it. They say, roll it. And Sam will roll it. And Sam will bring out a fowl. How does handkerchief change to a fowl? Right? What they simply did was to take advantage of the laws of creation and manipulate it. Are you getting my point? And what is the goal? The goal is to convince you to come into partnership with the spirit that is assisting them. The spirit that is assisting them is not assisting them for nothing. I hope you know that. When Jesus was on the earth, he was not the only one doing miracles. I hope you know. Remember there was a certain time the disciples were angry and they were complaining that there are some people that are doing miracles somewhere else. Jesus, you are the happening man. Where did this, and we are your other people. So if it's not you, it should be us. Where are these strangers coming from again? And Jesus made a very controversial statement. He said, whoever is not, what? Against us, is for us. Ah! Spiritual laws. So Deborah could look at the stars and say, stars, I understand what you represent to the inhabitants of the earth. Align yourself in a way that the powers that the men use for war will not work. And the Bible says the stars fought for Deborah with the permission of God. Joshua, my namesake in the Bible, what happened to him? He looked at the sun and said, if this sun goes down, they are going to kill our people. Because of that, sun stand still. Right? Daniel went to bed and the secret was revealed. And he said, oh king, I know what you saw. You saw a being, an image stand with the head of gold, the breastplate of silver, and you saw clay mixed with metal at his feet. And he began to describe the fall of different empires, the Christian empire, the Babylonian empire, and down to the new age that attempts to communicate towards virtual reality. That's the last empire. The feet that is a mixture of clay and iron. One side the government is soft. On another side the government is hard. It's a mystery. He saw it described. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. The, the proof that God is in a thing is not just in the result. But the spirit that initiates and sustains that process. This is where I'm driving at. The proof that a thing is of God. The Holy Ghost must be both the initiator and the sustainer of that spiritual process. Otherwise, it is fetish, it is demonic, it is from darkness. Even if it produces a real result, I'm giving you the reason now. It's producing a real result because it was the manipulation of a physical law or a spiritual law. And because of the advantage of the superiority of the realm of the spirit over the physical realm, it will produce results. Watch this. Every spirit that initiates a process leaves a signature of itself upon that process. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When Julius Baga builds, what do they leave? They build their, their logo. Is that true? If PW builds, they leave everything. Meaning, if Satan gives a child, he will leave his signature. Right? If Satan heals the sick, he will leave his signature. When you know this, you will know the reason why many people do not experience complete deliverance or complete healing or many there are many reasons 
but the major reason is because satan comes to steal kill and to destroy so although he uses spiritual law there must be darkness in his operation so satan will give you a miracle that will create another problem right one miracle that creates another problem and you come to him he gives your family money and then gives another person the spirit of drunkenness when you come as drunkenness is being solved barrenness follows right there is a signature one law being activated and causes another one that's why it is the blessing of the lord that can make rich and the there will be no sorrow there is always a signature of darkness that signs upon whatever comes from satan please hear me tonight not every open door is anointed the fact if you force a door in the spirit it will open thank you jesus christ there are secular musicians that sing and for those of us who used to listen to their songs or those who listen around as we pass by when you hear their voices you know that this voice is it has a glory that is not physical are you getting me spiritual laws manipulated but they must pledge allegiance to the spirit that assisted them that's why you listen to the music and physically you receive the glory that looks like from heaven but it does something to your spirit man because those laws help satan to continue his agenda in the earth is god speaking to us tonight so number one realize that there are spiritual laws number two realize that no man can activate the operation of spiritual laws until assisted by a spirit entity number three there are many spirits that can activate spiritual laws spirits of the dead all kinds of fallen spirits but god has only one spirit that is permitted authorized to search his heart and activate these laws according to his counsel for man and the name of that spirit is the spirit of the living god is the holy ghost spirit of the living god is the whole is number one we have not allowed the spirit of god to teach us these operations of the spirit so that we can align ourselves with these laws of the spirit i may just touch on one of the law maybe two of the laws really we'll just touch on two of those spiritual laws and then we'll just end because i want us to pray hallelujah praise the lord laws of the spirit Watch this. This guy is playing this. Did you know that he's activating a law, a spiritual law? What he's playing is a language. Your senses don't understand, but your spirit understands it. That's why you want to sit down and keep listening to it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The melodies. You know why many people are addicted to secular music? Honestly, it's not just that they are bad people. Is that those melodies are languages they draw your spirit but because those who sing them have fraternized with certain spirits they draw you and they induce the operation of certain strange spirits so you hear him playing what he's playing he's playing the strings and he's, he's doing something to your spirit man if a habali sits down and plays you will keep enjoying and you will fall down but not under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You will fall down and stand up and something will land on you. Are you getting that now? So it matters what spirit you sit under. It matters what spirit produces the result that you celebrate. It matters not just that results are being produced. Brothers and sisters, hear me. If we do not rise to understand the laws of the spirit, we who are the sons of light, I want you to know that many people will run to the devil and he will give them the result they want by operating spiritual laws and take their souls in exchange 
if we do not rise to contend for the power and the grace that will cause fruitfulness in the life of women they will go to babalawos every day we can be grumbling and be calling everybody fake and calling everybody we have to be careful because some of us are the ones who are fake not just because we are going to have a list but we have refused to hold on to that which is real see that praise the lord the holy spirit must be the initiator and the sustainer of every spiritual knowledge we receive this becomes our only guarantee to escape perversion the holy spirit is the only guarantee that will escape perversion please let me surprise you and understand me you can take just this bible verbatim without the presence of the holy spirit you can still hold get into error are you getting me you can still hold the bible blindly and you will still get into error there are many people who go to have valleys i counsel a lot of people and some people come and meet me and they or their children or wives have gone to have valleys and they say they go to a have and they see many books and they see holy bible holy bible was produced by a publishing company some of the people who produce this thing are not even born again is that true they are just doing business zondervan or whatever publishing company but it is the presence of the spirit of the living god meaning a demon spirit can still come upon this and give it another interpretation that's why every sect of the christian faith uses this but they got another interpretation by the interaction of strange spirits genesis 11 that's what happened to nimrod kush the origin of witchcraft nimrod kush these fallen angels appeared to him in fact before genesis 11 the days of noah the bible says strange aliens started coming upon the earth is that true and they started sleeping with the daughters of men brothers and sisters our ladies are smart people do you think an angel will just come with wings and horn and say um marianne I'm in love with you. Wouldn't you run? If you see a beast with tail, with horn, says I'm before he says I'm in love, you will run away. These beings were not daft. They came and walked like men. I told you angels don't have wings. And there is no record of angels with wings in the Bible. Those who have wings are cherubims. In fact, angels appeared with people, they ate with people in the Bible. Is it not true? Angels ate with people in the Bible. When the angel appeared to Mary, she didn't say, I'm afraid. She wondered what the salutation, not the angel. Meaning they had been seeing them. When the angel appeared to Zechariah and all of these kinds of people, it is the seraphs that cover. Cartoon. Films. Have, have created these things based on their interpretation and now we are not criticizing them but they have not helped us to understand the reality of spiritual things <laughs> hallelujah are we following now ah i sense the presence of god there are so many spiritual laws i want you to know that if i ask you what are the physical laws you will name them sir isaac newton in his study of mechanics came up with several laws right there are the, the are fundamental laws first second third law there are all kinds of laws laws of thermodynamics conservation of matter physics and chemistry has all kinds of law newton's law of universal gravitation there are all kinds of law chemistry le chatelier's principle of equilibrium all kinds the scrolling guy equation all of these things are men and women coming together in an attempt to explain laws there are laws that guide our understanding into quantum physics right when we do chemistry qualitative analysis and all of that we try to use the colors or or the things that emanate from solutions to be able to help us know what um, ion or whatever it is that is there all of these are physical laws in the same way there are spiritual laws spiritual laws spiritual laws bless you sam sorry hallelujah let's touch on two of these laws can we I read an article there is a powerful series on finance 
when we are teaching that one, we will share it. But let me give you the preview. The anchor scripture to that, that series is, Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. There was a relationship between the anointing on his head and the running over of the cup. Thou anointed my head with oil and my cup running over. Hallelujah. Now, a wealthy man was once asked what the secret of his wealth was. And I got to find out that all he said was he found an ancient manual. Right? A manual that dates 2,300 years ago. Written by a Greek philosopher. That manual they seem they said seem to contain some magic powers that even if you read just the title alone, fortunes will begin to come to you. I know some of you with all this message will say, Where is that manual? I can ask God for forgiveness. Where is that manual? <laughs> Repent, this is the year of the rain. Many of you have suffered, it doesn't matter what. Where is that? Some of you will go and browse it after this, this meeting. Is there an online version? Let me go come and read it and come for miracle service. Hallelujah. That means, you know what this Illuminati and secret societies and all these occultic organizations do? They are men and women who interacted with these spirit beings. And they reveal to them a lot of these spiritual laws. They reveal to them that this universe is not just sand. They reveal to them that air is not just air. Water is not just water. And they have excellently archived this principle through centuries. Right? Let me tell you. These were the very principles that kings used. Did you hear that in ancient times king had, kings had scrolls? And certain things were written. In fact, part of the writings were magic formulas that will open certain doors. You see them in some of the films that you watch. All these things were an aberration of spiritual laws. What does that tell you? That means truly all things are available for life and godliness. If we can allow the Holy Spirit to take the word of God and guide us, all things are really possible. Hallelujah. One of the most prominent business law among many business people is what they call the law of attraction. I, I, I don't believe it in that sense. And that law teaches that it is, it's, a, it's an extension of, of Newton's law of universal gravitation. That the earth is a living thing. Right? And it begins to say all kinds of things and it credits the power to modern nature. It makes it look like modern nature is supervising our, our, our activities. That's, that's demonic from the of hell the devil will never give credit to god and they have used it and made children brilliant in school they have used those laws how many of you have have have, have seen all these things they spoke about uh, they speak about hypnotism and all of this sort i know i'm stretching you tonight some of you are wondering who am i now am i a christian no, <laughs> listen i'm training you because one day many of you who want to go abroad you will go abroad and you will look for living faith and dunamis and redeem. You will not find anywhere. The only one you will find is a temple. A temple you must greet the priest to resume your work. And once you go there, they will look at you and when you will not bow, they will ask you questions. And you say, in Koinonia, I was taught ABC and they laughed. They say, really? You know, lack of exposure is what is making some of us comfortable with this our Christianity. Because we think the whole world is like Zaria. When you go out of this place and see the way people hate God, you will know you need more to stand. Is that true? That's why God refused you from going abroad. Because you would have, you would have, you would have converted. Two days you would, have, you would have left God. By the time they bamboos your mind, and then they tell you, okay, just read this portion. And you read this portion and you go out and people start calling you from nigeria and sending you money so what is going on ah say so let me read the other parts that i didn't read again you think you won't do it hallelujah and the holy spirit has guided me through these spiritual laws a lot of them have been preached in the body of Christ. 
but even those who have preached them have not preached them with the level of revelation and gravity they just preached them because one person had another man of God preach it hallelujah number one my goodness pray in tongues for one minute say Lord open my eyes something is about to change in your life now I've had several encounters through the word of God I'm about to share with you I've read it in books over the years but when God began to open me up to it it changed my life forever Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7 Let's see how far God will help us. We have to stop somewhere to pray. What you are about to learn must change you. I'm telling you, you will be so changed, you will be surprised. Many of you will carry the presence of God. You will carry the glory of God. You will see breakthroughs happen in your life in ways that will surprise you. Everybody read, please. One, two, read. Just the first portion, the first clause, one to read. Listen, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, it didn't say so he will become, so he already is. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he. I learned and I have seen it. I taught the heads of department during our retreat a bit of it and the Lord has permitted me to share this now. That your life, listen to me, your environment and the quality of your life is a reflection of both your mindset and the sum total of your belief system. Listen to me. Your life, the quality of your life today the quality of your life, the quality of your environment, the quality of the works of your hands and the things that you do is a direct reflection of your ideologies, a direct re reflection of your perceptions about God, about life, about wealth, about whatever it is. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, that means your life will eventually open up and reveal to the physical what is in your heart. A powerful spiritual law that your life and your environment will eventually become a reflection of your reality. My goodness. My goodness. That means heaven is a revelation of God's mindset. Heaven is a reflection of the excellency of his thoughts. Earth is a reflection of the mindset of mankind. Selfishness. Watch this. I don't know if it was last week or so that, that I said it. I think I shared it during the retreat. Take a security man. Is that true? Take him to the office. Assuming you have a, a corporation with three story buildings the last story building belongs to the ceo take the security man to that story building leave him there for two weeks that office will start reflecting his mindset right immediately because when the man sits on that chair his mindset will refuse that reality first he will feel he does not qualify for it and then second, he will be afraid because he would think that after a while they will come and take it. So he will say, let me steal and loot. The first thing is he will remove whether, what did I say that day? Stabilizer. He will steal the stabilizer and run away and sell it. And say, how can you put a the big stabilizer, 10,000? I mean, the, the light is regulated from Nepal on or, or what, what they call them? Power holding company. Praise God. So he will steal it. The next time you will see a beautiful artwork and you will say, how much will they sell this one, please? 
They say 20,000. I say, go and sell it. There are two. Sell one and leave one. Right? You give him a glass cup. He says, no. Package them together. Let's sell it. Buy me a rubber cup, please. I'm, I'm contented. His mindset is already playing out. He will step into the place dirty and won't clean it. Right? He will eat food and leave it there. He will lead that document. He will take any piece of paper and clean water with it, not knowing what the document is. At the end of two weeks, that office has reflected his ideology. That's why those who get who wants to be a millionaire, none of them ends up being a true millionaire after five years because what they, are, what they have gotten does not subscribe to the truth, the principles that brought it. You never become wealthy by receiving dash money i'm telling you this there are people who receive hundred thousand every month maybe from parents or well-wishers but the revelation they have about prosperity about god about money drives wealth away from them is that true are you getting me there are men of god whose churches you will never see miracles happen because there is a mindset about miracles they have that will never allow the Holy Spirit to bless people. Is that true? They don't want to see anybody fall under their anointing. They don't disturb us with noise. We want order in this church. And because of that, although they are God-fearing, the Holy Spirit wants to do great things but their ideology. So listen to me. The only way to change your life is to change your mindset and your perception. Listen to me. I was teaching the leaders and I taught them this. I told them, do you know why some ministries have the best of everything? Have you wondered why? You see certain ministries, the best keyboardists, the best um, computer um, people, the best sound people. Let me tell you why. Because the, the, the mindset of that man, right? will bring to that ministry people who are consistent with his ideology. There goes the same birds of the same feathers. Do what? So the Bible says this in Proverbs chapter 4 now, right? 4 verse 23 it says, guard your heart. You see that? With all diligence. This is the Bible. It says, keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are what the issues the quality of your life is locked up within your mindset i believe god for anything i believe god can take this ministry to any height hallelujah i do not ever believe that there can be limitations in the work of god that's my mindset right that's why you see members of living faith for instance they are men of faith because they are a reflection of the conviction of the founder being a man of rugged faith it's in living faith you hear that a man died and they carried him and rubbed oil from his head to his toe till he came back and they come to testify do you have the gods to do that kind of thing it's in living faith you hear that a man died and for three days his wife was with the man on the bed and said you are still my husband you are alive and after three days he comes back to life he did not need to necessarily change them he first changed himself listen if you are not changed your words will not carry power your words only reflect the authority based on the change that has occurred in you. that's why see let me tell you if Creflo Dollar or any of these people who are really well, they come right now and teach you on prosperity, some of you will be crying and you hate poverty forever. Not necessarily because what they are sharing is deep. They are communicating their reality. If Sam comes and holds the mic and begins to worship, what he is reflecting to you is an overflow of his reality. The deposit of the anointing within him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That's why you can listen to another musician and nod your head. And Frank Edwards, for instance, can sit on his keyboard and play the same song and you are crying. Brothers and sisters, leaders influence people by becoming the change they want the people to be. Right? That means when I become convicted by my ideologies, 
it will influence your perception and it will be easy to change you that's why the more successful a man becomes the easier it becomes to influence others because his life now has sufficient testimonies are we getting blessed many of us want to see changes in our lives in 2015 hear me change will never come if you are still blaming people you and god in partnership with his word are the only requirements for that change to come if you do not allow the word of god to renew your mindset i promise you you will never get anything in your life that has not first become a reality and a deposit in your spirit is somebody hearing what i'm saying that's where it is out of this that all kinds of religions bring a lot of metaphysics and what they call um, astral meditation, right? So they tell you, put a picture of the, the jeep and you look at it and say, ah! They say, now see yourself in the jeep. They say, I'm driving. You see, that is madness. But I'm only trying to tell you that they stole those laws. They are an aberration, a corruption of spiritual laws. That's why whenever God wants to bless a man, God convinces you and makes sure you agree with him. If you don't agree with him, it will never happen in your life. For a long time, God kept telling Abraham, I want to change you. Abraham could not get it because of his idol worship mentality. And God said, come out. I don't know what to do. To come out. He said, start counting the stars. Abraham was counting. And he was seen, he will count and miss. God said, do it, just continue. And his mind was acclimatizing. And Abraham said, wow. And the Bible says, finally, Abraham believed. And it was counted unto him for righteousness. When the angel appeared to Gideon, Gideon said, oh, oh, don't deceive me. The angel took time. He didn't quarrel Gideon. Because he knew that if Gideon did not agree with him, nothing would happen. And Gideon said, I need proof. Let the cloth be wet let the ground be dry he said no problem if that's what it takes to adjust your mindset to authorize us go ahead and Gideon said now don't be offended let the cloth be dry I, I want to convince myself when Mary said how shall these things be Gabriel owed her an explanation and it took time to explain and she said I believe although I've never seen how a woman gives birth without a man but I believe and he said, be it unto me according to your word. Instantly she got pregnant. Zechariah had seen a lot of spiritual laws. That's why when he doubted Gabriel, he said, let's shut the mouth of this man. He's going to use the next spiritual law I'm about to teach you to change what we want to do. Is somebody learning something? Hear me. This is what makes ministry easy. I never spend time just wondering how do we publicize to get crowd koinonia will be a reflection of the quality of both the spiritual the intellectual and the physical ideologies of the leaders you change a system by changing the leaders are you hearing what i'm saying many of our fathers did not change themselves they took one bottle of gouda and slapped you when you took one cup did you change you see that because they have become a reality for you and they are saying, if I catch you drinking, that's the day I will kill you. Go and buy me a Buddha job. They just finished talking to you and they said, go and buy it. Please hear me. If you want to see changes in your life, you are going to have to find out what ideologies have kept me where I am. There are some of you who never believe God can bless you. Right? As you're looking at me right now, if God even says he will give you 100,000, you say, Amen. You know that kind of unbelieving Amen. Listen, let's not make God look like a liar. This is the year of the rain. There are some of you who God wants you to walk in levels of anointing you have never seen. There are some of you who want to, God wants you to walk in certain depths. But do you believe him? There is nothing God has told me that I've not believed. I don't announce things till I'm sure I've believed it. When I believe it, I don't care who believes it again. So be it. The word of the Lord will come to pass. When God told Noah, he said, rain is coming. Build an ark. Do you think Noah just said, yes, sir? No. Noah would have said, God, 
my name is Noah. Your name is Yahweh. You're, you are almighty. We are not the same. Convince me. Convince me. When Noah was convinced, after 120 years, based on X timing, he still didn't give up. We talk about Abraham who waited 25 years. What of Noah? Noah waited 120 years. I'm sure people will say, look, when we were 50 years, when I gave birth to three children, this stupid man was busy building this ark. He has been searching for gopher wood around the whole world to build, searching for gum, searching for a lot of things. And then when he finished, we now saw him going to the jungle, looking for every kind of bed. Imagine what they would have told his wife. Say, madam, did you have to marry this man? But listen, one day, one day, his confidence in God showed him. Listen, you may be tight in now. You are seeing what God is doing in your life. You are seeing the anointing of the Spirit upon your life. It may not show. The Bible says, while we look not at the things that are what? Seen. But the things that are unseen, I'm giving you a scriptural proof. He said, for the things that are seen are what? Temporal. That means there is a level of confidence and renewal that can change anything you see before you. Brothers and sisters, do you believe this? Pastor Jakes is here, he will testify. Right from when the ministry, this used to be all of us, who form a, Aaron is here who form a circle and all just sit down on the floor I made certain statements like a fool right but today and listen this is not even it yet you wait and see what God will do with us oh I believe him I believe him absolutely carve upon my heart this truth that sets me free according to your do you know your academic situation can change please i'm speaking to somebody do you know your destiny can change if you keep thinking we are the helpless nigerians i guarantee you after 50 years you will celebrate golden jubilee suffering but i will feed nations huh i may be robbing granite oil as 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 vaseline but a day will come why we look not brothers and sisters as i look at you i don't see the weak you that's why i say as i look at you i see nations nations who told you you will not be the mother of nations i'm 30 years so what so what about 30 years would you stand and say i saw when I was 23, I know that the Lord told me I'm giving birth to a prophet and it's going to arise. That vision is still there. I am convinced. Yeah. The things that we see are subject to change. One day you are taking your bath and you see growths and tumors all around your body. You just say, hey, this is how I'm going to die. Cancer. And the devil said, not just cancer, fibroid, fibroid. Notice, do you know that many sick people may carry certain sicknesses for years and never fall sick because doctor has not told them. Now doctors, don't be, don't be sad. I'm just saying, because you did, you did not know it was not your reality. Many men were carrying prostate cancer carrying all kinds of things many ladies carrying fibroids carrying a lot of things and nothing happened to them but the day they looked and said do you know do you really know the implication of ss are you aware that the way that this has been happening you won't get a child in fact the way we are looking cat is your womb self it's not looking like the womb of a human being you just say ah and you now start saying that means no marriage a godly brother comes and you say my brother i'm pitying you you i don't want you to suffer in this life reality i hope you are laughing and you are see i'm telling you the secret to some of these results that you see these are my contemplations those who know me know that my reality is defined i never surround myself with nonsense 
you don't come around me gossiping and, and gossiping and speaking because i know that i am absolutely in control this has become the mirror to my world this is how i see things i only see things consistent when i'm going for a meeting i know there will be an outpouring of the spirit i don't care whether they have faith or not i don't care whether they can believe or not whether they are instrumentalists to charge the atmosphere or not is irrelevant when i step there i know that i bring an atmosphere i carry my own spiritual climate me and the holy spirit a team the workers in this ministry have received of this spirit that's why in the afternoon they arrange chairs and they dress who guaranteed them that you were coming? Did you sign a form? We having the same spirit of faith as it is written. Koinonia, hear me tonight. We are only 23 or 24 days into January. You can sit down with this, your belief system, and you will celebrate Christmas in this condition. Or you can rise up. Ah, but I know people who love God, they have died. I know people who love God, things have happened. Brothers and sisters, we are talking about you here, not your neighbor. The just shall live by his faith. Hallelujah. Do you believe this? I read a story of somebody 109 years, still alive. In fact, three women. They were even putting makeup. 109 years life and strong in the midst of this wicked world they don't expect what do you expect in your life see these are powerful spiritual laws the second law give me five minutes genesis chapter one verse three quickly please the creative power of words i know that we have been taught that words are powerful but I want to show you the spiritual dimension of words. There is a reason why God called himself the word. You know why God named himself the word. It says, and God did what? And God, not and God wished. Not and God expected. Not and God complained. He said the earth was dark and void and formless. And God, the talking spirit, said. The word said there doesn't mean, and God declared. What it meant was, God commanded it to be so. The word said there does not just mean, and God recited. No, God didn't recite anything. Say, I'm healed, I'm healed. That's recitation. You are not talking. What many people have been talking in the body of Christ that they are calling confession is recitation. I'm telling you this. The word confess comes from the Greek word homologio. It's not just repeat what you say. It's you are giving an empowerment to say it. I prophesy as I was commanded. He said, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. And you read the verses down the line. It says, and God said, and he saw. And God said, and he saw. And God said. And he saw listen to me words are powerful because when you speak a word it activates spiritual laws and activates other laws listen to me there are many laws that make realities to work the key to activating their operation is in words are you hearing what I'm saying so when you speak whether you realize it or not something is loose and something is tied it depends on what is loose and what is tied. Please follow me. The Bible says, how did he put it now? Whatsoever you bind, right? Do you bind just by tying a rope? Jesus looked at a fig tree and he didn't need to say the law of fruitfulness cease operation from this tree. The law of regeneration stop. I command the fertilizer. Don't enter the root again. He just used words and activate all the laws that needed to be activated for that tree to shrink. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So instead of learning all the laws, God gives you the keys that activates them. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when I declare and I say, I am healed, 
I release a lot of spiritual laws. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If we stand now and I declare, I say in the name of Jesus, the power of God will start moving in this place. Suddenly you hear people falling and shouting. Why didn't it happen now? Listen. The words that I'm speaking are activating both the operation of angels, the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Our words activate the dimension of God that is revealed in a meeting. That's why when during miracle service, the worship people sing songs that invoke that dimension. Are you getting what we are saying? If you know this, you will know that from morning till night, some of you have activated woes and tragedies in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Listen, let's, let me show you a few scriptures at time. Oh, I've been fighting. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We've been closing so late. We'll see what we can do about it. It's just the passion in my heart. Psalm 141 verse 3. Media, please help us. Let's rush so that we get up and round up. <sighs> Psalms 141 verse 3. It says, set a watch, O Lord, before where? And do what? Keep a door. Knowing that every time I speak, my mouth didn't just open. A door opened in the spirit. The opening of my mouth is the opening of a door in the spirit. It says, set a watch. Oh God, this my mouth can lead me in trouble. So set a watch. Set a watch over my mouth. Numbers chapter 14 verse 28. Zipra toka shila kariata koso brande katayara. Numbers 14 verse 28 Very quickly Everyone read Want to read 28, 28 Say unto them As truly as I live saith the Lord As ye have spoken in my ears So I will do what As I hear you say Not wish he said, let the redeemed of the Lord. He already called you redeemed, but he said, say it. Let the healed of the Lord say so. Let the prosperous of the Lord say so. Let the anointing of the, the anointed of the Lord say so. They are not reminding themselves. They are activating that reality. Everybody say, when I speak, I activate realities. Say it again. When I speak, I activate spiritual laws. That's right. It depends on what law you activate. But something must be activated. When you understand this, you will know that words are expensive. Let's look at just two more verses. Proverbs 18, verse 21. If you can look at that. Proverbs 18. You can write it down. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. You are greatly to be praised. Listen. Death and life are where? Did he say death and life are on top of your head? Did he say death and life are? It says death and life are in the power. The proceeds of the tongue. And like a seed. They that love it shall eat the fruit that grows from that seed. The Bible says the seed is the word. In the parable of the sower. What is the seed? Meaning every time you speak, you sow the seed. Is that true? He said the seed is the word. So when I begin to speak, even in tongues I'm sowing, I'm activating laws in the spirit. When I begin to pray, my day is blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I am lifted. I'm activating spiritual laws and I authorize the spirit of God to begin to schedule opportunities, to schedule certain things. And you find out that after prayer, you activate laws of favor. As you are stepping out, you bump into your destiny helper. You call it coincidence. The Bible calls it life that your tongue released. That's why Job said, what I have feared most has come upon me.
Proverbs 13 verse 3. Proverbs 13 verse 3. Please let's read it together. He that keepeth his mouth. Stop. How do you keep your life? Insurance. Answer me. I'm not against insurance. Do life assurance, life insurance. But the Bible, the written word of God, the living logos. He that keep how do you keep your life in the spirit? By keeping your mouth. Papa Hagin said this. Kenneth Copeland said this. Those guys said these things. So many people. I speak life. I speak life. I speak life. He said, I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. But I can only advise you. Choose. He said, he that keepeth his mouth. Keepeth what? He said, but he that openeth wide his lips. Speaking nonsense any day, any time, and saying it does not matter. He says that he shall have what? As a fruit. Brothers and sisters, listen. Ladies, when we are, when we are about to pray, in the midst of your prayer, you will lay your hands on your womb and pray and say, no devil. No devil. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of you are afraid right now. The rate at which ladies are scared of fibroid is alarming. You are just eating too much. You look at your stomach and say, this, this, thing, this is how it starts. I have the power to create. And I have the power to destroy. The power of words is in its ability to activate spiritual laws. That's what I want you to know. Many of us have been taught that words are powerful, but what makes it powerful? Words are keys in the spirit. They activate laws. So now, it's not just blind confession. Oh, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. As if you are reciting a magic formula. No, that's madness. You speak out of the abundance of knowledge that when I declare that I am blessed, I am activating something. You wait until we have the other series that we have. There are so many things that you will learn this year. Two laws you have learned tonight. The first one is that there are spiritual laws. And that one of the laws, listen, is that to change your outside, you change what is inside. Stop wasting your time. Whatever you don't like outside, get the renewal, the mind component of what you want outside bill johnson got it right when he wrote the book the supernatural power of a transformed mind i don't expect this ministry to ever go down we'll keep speaking it we'll keep rising i expect every one of you in this year to break on every side and whenever i pray for you that's what i pray i don't pray blindly and say lord hey, your will be done i know what his will is his will is not fake his spirit has revealed his will in his word I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. They are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end.
for those of you who are just coming we are not mad men it's an expression of audacity the bible says the shout of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous hallelujah people they ask me say hold on what do you know i'm singing Sam, come. Otua kachine ke motile. of Jericho will fall. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many of you believe what I just said? The walls of Jericho will fall. This is what I saw in the spirit while we sang. The walls of Jericho. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are going straight to the business of the night. Hallelujah. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Tonight is a night of miracles. Tonight is a night of deliverance. I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. I prophesy as a servant of the living God that these Egyptians you came here with tonight wave them goodbye because you will never 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 hallelujah I'm not speaking to anybody but I'm prophesying to someone that these Egyptians if God be God if God be God, if God be God, I prophesy to you tonight, we didn't come to joke. If God be God, this Egyptian, call it his name, whatever it is, this Egyptian, it will go. that you have carried 
for in this sanctuary tonight God is here let's just read one scripture just one scripture hallelujah Ezekiel 37 there is such a heavy presence of God in this place inside and outside let your faith rise to its limit because God will do awesome things tonight the hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones tonight is a prophetic night oh. tonight he says see the words here tonight have prophetic implications and caused me to pass by them round about bones of hardship bones of lack bones of infirmity bones of oppression and behold they were very many this is the story of many families very many and they were very dry and he said unto me Joshua Selman can these bones leave can this sick body leave can these dying finances leave can this delay and stagnation in this family leave again can this hopeless situation leave can this blood condition leave can SS be changed to AA? Can a man on a wheelchair walk again? The prophet was so scared. He said, only thou knowest. And he said unto me, prophesy. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. Prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, O ye dead finances. O ye family challenges, O ye oppression, hear ye the word of the Lord. O ye challenges, hear ye the word of the Lord. He said, Thus saith the Lord, I will cause breath to enter you, and ye shall leave. And I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and ye shall live and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded and as I prophesied there was a sound. There is a sound. This is why we are making sounds in the spirit. And as I prophesied there was a sound. Bones, finances, health. I will reverence you, Lord. Don't sing, don't join me. Help me with the simba. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence I will reverence you, Lord. 
Every dry bone, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the spirit. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the spirit. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. For in your presence there is life everlasting. For in your presence there are miracles. For in ha, your presence there is joy, joy everlasting. So I will reference you, Lord. Tonight we dethrone principalities and powers and everything that defies the name of Jesus. Tonight we set free the captives and the oppressed. Lord, visit your people in a mighty way. In a mighty way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready for what God will do tonight? How many of you are tired of the oppression of Satan? Don't just stand in for yourself. Stand in for your family members. Enough is enough, oh God. Hallelujah. The Lord told me there will be mighty deliverance in this place tonight. Many of you do not know the power of deliverance. Bring the lady who will shout at the back. The power of God will come upon one lady at the back. Please let me have her in front. power of God will come upon a lady strong at the back let me have that lady in front tonight listen I want your faith to reach its limit because as we begin to move in the anointing of the spirit I want you to receive forget about your neighbor receive for yourself for your family members if you brought someone here, I'd like you to relax because God will do wonders in our midst. Hallelujah. The lady at the back, I'm seeing an angel walking. I'm seeing an angel walking across this road. The lady is wearing something like pink. Pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. That's the lady. Bring her. 
Mata tabala kambra da la kato salada. She will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the agency of the Spirit. Let her go now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus, foul devil of darkness. Go. I see you in the realm of the spirit. Go now. Bring them out. Lift your hands, everyone. There are many people under the oppression of darkness. The moment I shout the name Jesus, I tell you to be like a tornado. The power of God will hit you where you are. No devil. I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit. I hold captive every foul devil. Tonight, you will let God's people go. Now lift your hands, everyone. At the count of three, shout Jesus. And the power of God will fall. One, two, three. Every devil, bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon. Oppressing anyone outside, the power of God is falling outside. Falling outside, I rebuke evil spirits. In this room, in this room, the power of God is falling mightily. Come out of God's people, I expose the works of darkness. Every demon in hell, Outside, outside, the power of God is falling outside. power of God is falling on two of you outside. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Every act of witchcraft and divination, many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now. Because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit the wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies you will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire is falling right now the fire is falling right now across the congregation let the fire expose the works of darkness let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire abara la mala la mafia na 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 shake it ara la bari ara ba this egyptian you see today you will see them no more forever Hallelujah. Come out of her now. Out of her in the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Foul devil of darkness. Go, go. I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit. Out of her right now. Out of her, you're a wicked spirit of darkness. Out, I'm seeing a snake 
this is what I'm seeing. Come out right now. Come out to find the name of Jesus Christ. Go. This lady has been oppressed and her entire family. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. You must go. The light shines upon you. Go. Go now. You have oppressed this girl for long. Now in the name of Jesus, come out of her. Come out right now. Out of her. Come out of her right now. Out in the name of Jesus. Look at me. Turn and look at me. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a wicked spirit of darkness. Go, go. You will go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a snake lying down here. I'm not even seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this girl go right now. Come out of her. Now. Out of her. Now, devil of darkness. Lift your hands. God is going to visit families. Hear me. Please hear me. And some of you will represent your families. Are you hearing me right now? The devil is a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? The devil is a liar tonight. The power of God will come upon families. Families. Right now. Whoever goes under the anointing, you're not representing yourself, but your family. There are things that need to be settled. At the count of three, all over this building, families be rescued. One, two, three. Papa, Pateka, Karata, Sete, Kerekoba, Baba Tata Lata Bakeria. Bring them out. Every family, every family, every enchantment, every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Kata Tabalada, Kata Barata, Karatosa, Rabariata, Beketori Seke, Mabrikato, Erekali Kaba, Rabariata, Rekoto Seke Tekete, Bekeposhia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Apata kata, leka pras kata raka, raka ta pras kata ba, ba pros koso so prekete. It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Go to reke, reko to so seke dia. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families. Tonight, there's no escape. The light and fiery presence. Mata Kabaya. Those of you outside, lift your hands. All of you outside, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, let the power of God move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Families be delivered. Families be set free. Move outside. Kata ta ta ta. Rakata baba. Raposoto. Reketeke. Raposkose. Rekoskeriata. Mapata porokote. Raeke reketo. Raposke blondo. Kapriata kata shekete.
outside the fire of God is falling son of man can these bones live again son of man can these families be revived again bring them in bring them in bring them in from outside there are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost bring this lady you leave our family right now you are a demon of darkness come out right now out by the power of the Holy Ghost right now you are a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territorial salvation. These are the spirits responsible, listen, for delay, delay in different things. Marriages, there's a lady at the back, this row, the power of God is coming upon you right now. Fire upon her in the name of Jesus. Look up, please. Look up. Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. Have you not wondered, look up, there are certain issues that you go through in your life. You pray about it, you fast about it, the more you pray, the more you fast, nothing is changing. Why is it so? Hold on, hold on, don't let that lady not go. Look at my eyes. Please dress her, let's have a lady wrap something around her. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes.
Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. See. Listen. The Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something. If you don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family, you will be surprised that you can be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. See, we like telling ourselves lies in church. Me, I don't have time for that nonsense. Are you listening to me? Everybody just wears suits. And then we just, and the devil is oppressing people. Who is Zainab? Zainab. Zainab. Please let's save time. Zainab. You are Zainab. Look at me. The Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family. Come out of her right now and her family. Out in the name of Jesus. You will see a nice pretty lady like this. Then eventually things will not move on in her life. Bring this lady. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm speaking to the spirit, not the person. Don't worry, the spirit is hearing. Look at my eyes. Your reign in this family is over. It's time for you to go now. Now, go. Just let her be. Come. Lift this lady for me. Sweetheart. Your family needs a lot of... Ah, what is this one that I'm seeing? You have an elder sister. Where is she? Is she married? Eh? She lost the guy. It's not that she lost the guy. Because I'm seeing... Anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying. This is what I'm saying. Look at me. Look at me, sister. What happened to the guy? He was shot. He was shot. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So now you see this lady and you are happy. Satan. Come out now. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out now. Now. Come out. Let our entire family go. The problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil, it takes the mercy of God. This is the situation we have here. Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Ranta prosko zete balakatea. Victory, Victoria, victory, victory. Is it victory or Victoria now? What's the name? Victoria, come. Look at me. The Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that? hands on your stomach look at me look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can all right are you ready one to go
You're free in the name of Jesus. I want to pray. Listen. I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart, heart condition. These two ladies come. Come. Tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. Sister. It's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. Come out of our family. Right now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Bring this lady. Look at look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. Heart, heart, heart conditions. Where are they? Please come out quickly. Heart. Just dress this ones aside. Every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight. Heart, please come out quickly. Hold on. There's, the Lord is showing me someone. You have like epileptic seizures. Who is that person? You can fall down and convulse. Who is the person? It started when you were young. Who is that person? Let me see your hands quickly. I need to pray for that person. Epileptic seizures. Because this is very demonic. Epileptic seizures. Look at me. How many of you believe you will be healed? What's wrong with you? Yes. Heart problem. Come. There is one of you, you had a dream. It was after that dream you started having this heart thing. Who is that? You had a dream. Come. It's time for God to set you free. What's the problem? Give him. What's the problem? There is a day that I was sleeping. In the dream, I saw somebody. The person don't shout. He is there. And I shout and I wake. Since then, my heart. It seems, to me, it seems to me that the heart wants to. I want to give up. Anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not hard. You think it's hard problem? Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you quickly. As I pray for you, just receive... Go back, check yourself. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Come out. You are wicked. Come out. Out of her right now. Come out now. Wicked devil. Aha, I've seen you. Come out. Out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. Aha. 
you will leave her. Come out! Out of her right now. Out! Come out of her in the name of Jesus. of you who brought sick people please we'll, we'll start ministering shortly but I want to pray for people who please stand up everybody stand up stand up hallelujah the Lord is specifically asking me to pray I'm going to pray you won't come out God will bring you out by himself um, the Lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep in your sleep you are sleeping in the night the severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things the Lord is going to set you free from it lift your hands everyone it should go lift your hands father even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus Please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. Hmm. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manip manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Now! 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 I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 bring them out oppression from your dreams Molestation in your dreams. this one's in front by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I bring you freedom 
an end comes to this devilish oppression you will go you will go 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 in the name of jesus you will go by the power of the holy ghost You will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is go, go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out of her. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where's the other lady that came? Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosaki will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body, you came with a sick person, especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sam. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in lines, please. Some of you are outside, running here, it's time for your healing. Hallelujah. Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you, in the power of the Holy Spirit. For some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. 
as hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you, expect a miracle. Whatever it is, barrenness, delay, sickness, what if it has a name, it has a need tonight. Hallelujah. Worship him, help us. Please, those of you at the side, please make sure that you just join us when we lay hands on you. Check yourself. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be healed. Shout, you are going out. Go, go now. Go, 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 go on your mark. Said, Go, you're free. Thank you, Jesus. The demonstration of your authority 
of light over darkness. Make sure you are praying. Whatever the sickness is, it will go. Come out! Come out! Come out! Out of the name of Jesus! Go! In the name of Jesus, go, go, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, your time is up in this body, go. As we pray for you, make sure you go back to your seat, giving thanks and rejoicing. It doesn't matter what is wrong. Fire right now. Come out. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out of her. Out, my devil. Come out of her. Fire upon you right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Go. Your time is up. Over this family. Spirit of poverty. Go. Go right now. On your mark set. Go. Go. Go, go, go. Go, you must go. Be cast out right now. right now. Telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Malaka prosata la bakanya, shedaba la rabonda, 
I'm seeing families, the curse of delay, marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families. Station of darkness, go in Jesus' name.
whose purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked. Someone has a problem with the left side of your ears. The left side of your ears. Who is that person? The left side of your ears. It's as if there's water. The left side of your ears. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. The Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus. your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten. The parma worm. Please be sensitive. Everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic. And I will restore to you. There are two families here that need major restoration. The Holy Spirit is going to bring them out. They will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. Wherever you are. I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. You will come out by the power of the Spirit. Leave them alone. They will come out by themselves. There's one more family. By the, by the influence of the Spirit. Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. It's the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't, no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Take a telekaramos. Everyone that belongs to this category, the sign is that you will run by yourself. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's a prophetic sign for speed. The Holy Ghost is bringing speed into your life. Let our family go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major, major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now. Days from now. There are still some people at the back. 
The Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people. Families for restoration. Families for restoration. My Lord, major, major restoration. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 8811252. 8811252. You or someone in your house has that number. This is part of the 11 numbers. 8811252. Come out. 8811252. And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. 774. A Zane number. 774. 774. A Zane number. A Zane number. These families must be free, oh Lord. You are the lady. You are the lady. 774. Zane number. Do you know me? Do you know me? Come out of her right now. Out of her. Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. Laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. They will begin to laugh right now. The laughter is a sign of victory. I tell you, it's a prophetic sign. They can't control it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Some of you may sit there, you are wondering what is going on in this place right now. This is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. Thou power of the Holy Ghost. Look at I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. Shida Kabbalah, Nabakura. 
All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. As this, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there. Lord, let your power move right now. Across that place, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. media just be seated don't stand up be seated but hold your hands together i want to pray for you at the count of three i'm seeing a whirlwind one two three There is a lady, you had a dream yesterday, you saw me ministering to you. There are not many times these kinds of revelations happen. Who is that lady? You're a lady, you saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had. Please come out. There is a lady, please let's save time, we still have some other things to do. Baba sister you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit i want to open a gate right now Efata, be open An impartation is coming upon you. You will never be the same. David, the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way. And even you, the Lord is bringing order to your life. There's a lot of chaos. Your life is scattered, very scattered. Let your life come back to order. Hallelujah. Ushers, collect the prayer requests. Please pass your prayer requests quickly. Gabriel. 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 There's a mighty move of the spirit in this place. God is just visiting people. Make sure you don't, those outside, don't think you are not part of this. Ushers, ushers, look at me, look at me. Lever, come out, come by yourself. Come and stand here. Come and stand here. This lady is strongly influenced by spirits. Come and stand here. Just stand and wait for me here. Right here, stand and wait for me here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go and write it. Honor.
bring this lady. Please, ushers, collect the prayer request quickly. Because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the Spirit. This lady loves God, but has been influenced by devils. It's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family. Are you listening to me? A prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from. Lord, You will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. Is it your mother or your auntie or something? On the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying, I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? They have been sick. Eh? They have been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? My mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Yes. Do I know you? Yes. Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I'll soon tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, Many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother, run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. And this is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal. Financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Too. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt. Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God. Please, Jake's cup. this request we are not opening it but I'm seeing here marriage for your sister the Lord says it won't pass this year this request I don't know who has it marriage for your sister I'm seeing a lady hold on Kai what is this before we pray someone in your family her stomach started protruding 
people even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanical. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach. In. No, 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 no. This, you, you are not, I'm seeing the lady, like um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. It's coming out. They're even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant. Hurry up, my sister. Let's save time. Who is that? You or someone in your family? Someone in your family. You believe in Jesus? Very well. Look at me. Look at me. Very well. And you believe you help your family. Because, my dear, there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first. Hmm? A lot of salvation. You too. You were scared? Why? This is a family. Please, when you, when you hear a word, don't be scared. Hmm? Madam, why are you out for who? Eh? What is this? Okay. Has... Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you, for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of Jesus. None of the requests here, your hand will not bypass them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Celebrate Jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change forever. 
Believe me. Mosaks, come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. Outside. New levels. New dimensions. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Rabato let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood. The seal of divine protection. The seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. Hallelujah. Every uncompleted project in this place, I command, let the Lord visit that project. Before the end of this year, completion of houses, projects in the name of Jesus. Every delay in relationship or marriage, I cause it to its roots now. In the name of Jesus. Every plague of barrenness 
inside and outside everything called barrenness in your life I curse it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I command a restoration whatever you have lost in the name of Jesus a sevenfold restoration receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah look at me I want to break the curse of poverty over families I always do this everybody look at me I want you to bring out a seed you know that we don't if you don't believe it just keep your seed please bring out a seed bring out something that will touch you just lift it up many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight inside and outside please share with somebody who doesn't have this is not about money this is about spiritual principles please bring out a seed lift it high above your head I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness... Are keeping the blessings of families just lift it up many of you will be surprised just hold it because that will be your uh, just lift it just lift it now the power of God every family suffering under financial curse just lift it you'll be surprised right now lift the seed to heaven my God like the sacrifice of Abel visit it now in the name of Jesus Rakatalata Bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice. To bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus it took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the Holy Spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it. Just give me 10 seconds. God is going to visit people right now. All across. Financially, 10 seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Do it, my God. Let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you i command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you i instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the lord job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it Please do that quickly. Let's round up.
I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God. If I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor. It's a season of supernatural exploits. I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. There's someone, your dad is a banker. He was taken away from the bank because of a case. Next month, before now I'm 14th, you'll be reinstated again. Hallelujah. Now look at me. If you're here, listen, everybody keep standing. And you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you've once given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing now is the time to make a genuine commitment the bible says as many as will come he will in no wise cast away we're going to give you an opportunity now inside and outside you probably were invited by someone or you've been here and you've seen what the lord has done you've seen the wonders of god and the lord is giving you an opportunity for a fresh start as i count one to five Please, inside and outside, as a family of faith, I like us to celebrate such people. Leave your seat and run out right now. Everyone, one. Leave your seat and come. You are welcome. Thank you, sister. Thank you, my brother. Outside, we're inviting you. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. 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 Don't sit back. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. My sister, I see you. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Now, Look at me. I salute you for making this bold decision. Hallelujah. The Bible says as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. This is the beginning of a real journey for you. Are you listening to me? Lift your hands, all of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God. I'm unable to help myself. I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. You rose again for my justification. Today, I confess you as Lord. I receive your sacrifice and your love. I declare that I'm born again. I receive eternal life in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no place in my life. I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life to make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, the ushers will lead you. You follow them in one minute. 
and then Pastor Jakes will be meeting with you tomorrow. There will be a follow-up for you. What time, sir? What time? Seven. Seven tomorrow. Please come into chapel. You meet with Pastor Jakes and he'll follow you up. God bless you. Celebrate them, everyone. Hallelujah. If this is your first time worshiping with us in our April Miracle Service, jump like a champion you know you are and run out quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Come on, come out quickly. We want to bless and prophesy over your life. Wow, wow. I tell you, run like a champion. I like these guys. Look at them. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus for what he's doing? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. How many of you were blessed tonight? You will never be the same. I assure you, you will never, never be the same. You will know that you met the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.